Hello everyone, welcome to Chillopedia. This is Maxim. Today's lesson will be about playing in half position. A note from Piatti. Never stretch from one position to another, always move the whole hand, the thumb maintaining its same relative position. He is talking about shifts, not when you have to make extension. Just to remind, when we make an extension, we actually keep the thumb in the same position. But every time you make a shift, no matter how close or how far you're going to make it, you will always need to keep the thumb together with other fingers. The common mistake is to leave the thumb in a previous position and then you will end up doing things like that. Well, it will be much harder to learn the new position if you leave the thumb in a previous position. Uh, it will feel in a different way. It will be totally different balance between fingers. And also, later on, when you will start playing with vibrato, a position like that will make it impossible to play with good vibrato. So, once again, you make a shift and your thumb is moving together with other fingers. The difference between first and half position is just a half a step down. So, on the A string, first position starts with B, and a half position will be B flat. All fingers move half a step down. So, in a half position, on the A string, we'll have B flat. B natural, C natural, and C sharp. On the D string, E flat, E natural, F natural, and F sharp. On the G string, a flat, A natural, B flat, and B natural. On the C string, C sharp, D natural, E flat, and E natural. It might be a bit confusing at first, but I believe Piatti is trying to help you to learn it this way. So, in the exercise, in the half position he is giving, on the way up he is using sharps, and on the way down he is using flats whenever it's possible. But listen to this exercise and you will hear no difference between those notes.
minor scale and arpeggio. In a scale, you will start in extended first position. <laughs> So E, you would normally use the third finger in the first position. Here, you need to use the second finger so you can reach F sharp. But then, when you move from G string to D string, from C sharp to D sharp, you will have to make a shift. It's a bit confusing in Piatti's note. He is suggesting that all fingers going from C sharp to D sharp from the first extended position to the half position will have to be moved one step down. It actually applies to the second, third and the fourth finger. But the first finger will move just a half a step down from A to D sharp. So it will look like this. Note that my fingers are in extended position and now to move to the D sharp the first finger will move just a half a step And second, third, and fourth fingers will move the whole step. It happens because the first position we are using here is extended, and the half position, we just have normal half a step distance between fingers. Now I will play E minor melodic scale and arpeggio. we don't need to use extended position because there is no F sharp or C sharp to reach. So we'll play the arpeggio in the first position. Exercise number 10. Tempo quarter note 60.
time to play together again. Tempo, quarter note, 60. Exercise number 11 by Dot Sauer, tempo quarter note 60. Now let's play number 11 together, our usual tempo, quarter note 60. Your entrance is two measures before my entrance. Exercise number 12 by Romber. At the end of this exercise, you'll have to play D sharp on the C string. In order to do that, you will have to move the first finger half a step higher, not the lower, as we already did so many times. So let's see. I'll play the last two measures of exercise number 12. So, 
We started in the first extended position. Then after we played F sharp on the C string, we just need to move the first finger half a step higher. And just stay there to play the last note, E natural with the second finger. While doing all of that, the thumb stays in the same position. There is no need to move it anywhere. Now, let's play the whole exercise. Exercise number 12, the second part, tempo, quarter note, 60.
exercise number 13 by Sebastian B. Just a quick note, when we work on etude, technical study, we often tend to pay attention to one thing, the main reason why we have to learn this etude. For instance, uh, shift from first to the half position. Although it's very important, but it's also important not to forget that no matter what you play, from C major scale to Dvorak concerto, you always have to remember that you are a musician. So when you play, try to pay attention to your sound, to think how much bow you are using, what kind of sound you would like to achieve. And if you learn to pay attention to that every time you play anything on cello, day after day, you will become better and better musician. Now it's time to enjoy it playing together. Usual tempo, quarter note 60. This will conclude our today's lesson. Please come back to find more music we can enjoy learning together.